We're here at the second annual resource roll-in up here in Prince George, surrounded by uh, trucks coming from all over the area and surrounding towns and all these great supportive people that are here to support forestry, mining, oil and natural gas, and all of the energy workers that help make this industry happen. And you can see we're about to go out on a convoy here right to downtown Prince George where we got a rally set up. People are motivated, people are, are pumped up even though it's, uh, it's freezing right now to be quite frank and, and the wind is a little biting. But everybody is, uh, is amped up for this rally that we have later this afternoon. And uh, we're here to support resources and the workers and this province and the communities that are in it. Here in BC, the majority of British Columbians, whether they're on Vancouver Island, whether they're in the Lower Mainland, or whether they're up here in beautiful Northern British Columbia, they get it. They know who built this country and continue to build it each and every day. The forestry workers, the miners, the farmers, those working in oil and natural gas, and the hundreds of thousands of Canadians that support what they do all across the country. They are the backbone of the economy, they are the bedrock of our communities, and they are the foundation on which we build our future. The silent majority in this country is starting to wake up. They've had enough with all the political and economic obstruction. They They've had enough with all the doomsday prophecies and they've had enough, quite frankly, with all the political correctness. I think that it's time for everyone in British Columbia and Canada that still believes in common sense, hard work and getting things done to come together and demand that as long as British Columbia and that as long as Canada and that as long as this world continues to need and demand resources, as much of those resources as possible should come from right here in Canada. Thank you very much for having me, Dave. Yeah.